eras of my life rolled up in one shot there behind the Greater Manchester the Leyland PD2 from Eastbourne Eastbourne grew up and these very much were the buses I grew up with through the 1960s and then I ended up in Manchester and not quite this delivery, these buses are a bit old now. but uh, in the Sownet period when all the local municipals and some of the company buses were being painted up in a very bright orange. Later the shade was darkened and it uh, came instead of the South East Lancashire and North East Cheshire it became Greater Manchester PTE. Just a shame on the Eastbourne PD2 that they uh, haven't got a destination screen in there. They could have uh, supplied one once upon a time. And, uh, our friends and Alan Knight certainly would have had a destination screen for this collection. And I sold him a lot and they were fitted rather nicely. Advert on the side for Barkers. And uh, this time Barkers of Witness and Hellsby, indicating perhaps its uh, present uh, keeping, present accommodation. We had Barkers down in Eastbourne. Barkers and Bobbies, they were our two department stores. I don't think uh, Ribble had to call on its uh, breakdown vehicles that often. Fairly well presented and maintained fleet with a vast following up in Manchester, Lancashire area. And of course, uh, Merseyside. Funny enough, both uh, Crosville and Ribble really met over on Merseyside. And uh, the enthusiasts there have got a quite a wide choice of what to be nostalgic about. Well, we can talk of nostalgia, and it's hard to imagine that one day we would uh, be waxing lyrical around uh, the old stagecoach stripey delivery. Ribble, one of the companies which, upon the breakup of the National Bus Company, went to uh, stagecoach and still very much an integral part of their empire, although the uh, area covered by stagecoach Ribble area vastly changed. <laughs> the Bedford OB, we talked about Bedford before, one of their small buses, the OB, was very much the typical smaller bus and coach back in the early, well, just the early post-war years, very much through the 40s, 50s, 60s. A design that uh, predated World War II, but uh, production in the uh, war went over to uh, utility vehicles. And there were Bedford utilities. Uh, nothing like as nice as the uh, rather ubiquitous duple body, although there are a lot of other bodyworks found on the Bedford OB.